You know, we talk about managed mobile productivity, and at the core of what we're talking about here is delivering that work experience that your users love and that you trust. There's a number of challenges doing this. The experience has to be seamless. Your users want that unmistakably office experience across all of their devices. And you know what? We believe in productivity without compromises on all devices. So what we've done here at Microsoft over the past couple of years is we've been engineering the EMS solution to work with Office 365 in a way that is able to guide the user. They feel empowered. They feel like they can get their job done but the user is guided to keep the corporate data secure and protected. And at the same time, we also know that our applications, the Office mobile apps, are used in people's personal lives and their business lives. And so we had to figure out that way to protect the company data, but at the same time, when the user's working in a personal document, we want to protect the user's privacy and stay out of that. So let's just take a look at this experience. And I think as you see the experience itself, you'll see how we have focused on both the end user and IT. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Word. Okay, I'm, I'm Word on an iPad. And the first thing I wanna call your attention to here is I can open documents from five different places. OneDrive for Business, OneDrive, SharePoint, Dropbox, and from the iPad. Now, one of the things we had to figure out was we had to be able to identify when the user's in a corporate document to automatically apply data protection but when the user's in a personal document, stay out of it. And we do it based on identity. And you're gonna see throughout this deep dive, identity is at the core of everything we do. So the way we do it is when a user goes and opens a corporate document or a place that required their corporate credentials to get access to, we automatically apply data protection to it. So I'm gonna go open up this document from OneDrive for Business. And because I opened it from a, a place that required my corporate username and password, as the document opens, it's automatically applying data protection. Now if I go try to save that to a non-approved location, like Dropbox, you can see the experience here. The user is guided in a very seamless way to keep the corporate documents in corporate locations. Okay, now if I go and I save it into OneDrive for Business, I can save it, but we help the user and we guide the user to keep the corporate documents secure. Now users expect to be able to copy and paste and share data across applications. It's just, it's been a fundamental part of Office you know, since the beginning. So let me show you some of the innovation we've done here as well. I'm gonna go into Word here, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna copy a paragraph. Now, let's go over into Outlook. Inside of Outlook, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a corporate email. I'm in my corporate email account right now. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna paste that, and paste works just exactly the way you would expect it to work, and I'm able to share corporate data across corporate applications. But if I do that exact same thing, and this time I'm in my personal email, when I go to paste, look what happens. You know, again, the user is guided to keep the company data secure, and in this case, the paste option doesn't appear. One of the things that we've learned over the years here as we've built this is building an experience that is loved by users and trusted by IT is actually really hard. To do both of those, you have to engineer the solution from the ground up with the end user in mind and IT in mind. This is work that we have done across EMS and Office 365, and this is very unique capabilities, and this is the kind of experience your users want. Now, I've shown you this with the Microsoft applications. But this level of control, this level of data protection applies to our partners as well as to your own internal applications. So first of all, I'm gonna go in here and show you a similar demo. This time, I'm gonna bring up Adobe. Now notice as it loads, it says Adobe for Intune. Adobe has actually taken the MAM controls of EMS and embedded that into their application. So now, this can behave just like all the other applications and we, we, and we can treat it as a corporate app. So now, I'm gonna go take that exact same paragraph that I took from Word, and you can see here, I can now paste that into Acrobat. Okay, so third parties are embracing our MAM controls and embedding that into their applications as well. We also have an SDK and a wrapper that allows you to take all of your own applications that you are developing, EMS enable that, so that they can participate fully in this secure and data protection environment. Now we've shown you data protection on iOS. Let's show you some of the innovation we've done in Windows 10 with what we call Windows Information Protection. This is a native capability that comes in Windows 10 that EMS is integrated with and manages. So first what you're looking at here is I'm gonna go open a document in Word. And again, we've talked about the importance of identity. Look at the column right there that says file ownership. When I open this particular document, because it is a corporate document, look, it's associated with my corporate identity, as the document opens, again, data protection is automatically gonna be applied. So it opens up into Word, and again, because it is a corporate document, it's gonna apply that data protection to it. I'm gonna go and select a paragraph, copy that, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Twitter. 
Now I'm going to go into Twitter and when I try to paste this in, notice what happens here. When I go to paste, it pops up this dialog and it says, hey, if this is personal content, you need to actually change it to personal content. If it's corporate content, you shouldn't paste it into Twitter. The beauty of this is we empower the user to make decisions. So in this case, if this was personal content, I could say change it to personal. It would actually log it for audit purposes. But the user is empowered to do what they need to do in their personal life and in their business life. And that's the importance of this multi-user capability when you talk about mobile application management and the controls. You know, these controls we just showed you inside of the Office mobile applications are all about helping and guiding the user to take care of and protect company data. You know, our view on this is different than, than others in the industry. We actually believe that, that if you're gonna try to protect data, the ultimate way to do that is to have data become self-protecting. So another one of the innovations in enterprise mobility and security is the ability for us to actually store in the document itself the privileges and the identities of the individuals who have the rights to access a file. Now, one of the challenges is how do you help guide users to classify data appropriately? It's an age-old problem. And so what I want to show you now is some of the innovation that we've done inside of EMS to guide the user and help them classify, and even in cases, auto-classify data to make sure that we protect those company assets. And to do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to a Surface. So here I am, on, I am on a Surface, and I'm in Word. Now one of the innovations that we've done here is we actually give the user the ability for them to be able to self-classify the data. You know, who knows better than the user, the person who's actually creating the content, what the classification should be. So in this case right here, you can see that I'm working in this document. It currently is not set to have any kind of controls on it. But this is a legal document. I want to go set this to the legal department only. I want it to be a document that can only be viewed by the legal department. I can go set that. And just that simple task right there now has embedded into the file itself that only the legal department at my company can open that file. You can take a look here, it's now put a watermark on that, you can see the footer. Now if I were to actually go out and share this file with anybody, unless they were part of the legal department, they could not access the file. Now this, this idea of self-classification or the user classifying the data, you know, sometimes it, the users forget. So we also have the ability here to also go out and have it be auto-classified. So here I am now in Excel. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go paste in some credit card numbers. Now, once I've pasted those credit card numbers and when I go to save, the rules that have been set up by the IT professional say that if there are credit card numbers, I automatically wanna classify this as confidential. And you see that's what's happened. But we also want to empower the users. So say that this was a personal budget, not a corporate budget. The user could actually come in and override that policy and say, hey, this is actually a personal document. The user is still in power. The user is in control of the data. But it's all about guiding the user to do the right thing. Now, even taking this further with some of the office integration, now let's say I went out and tried to share that file. Just the action of, of attaching that file to an email, you can see here that Office, when it detects that I'm trying to send this to an external individual, it comes up and gives me this tech tip that says, really, do you want to do this? This is a confidential document that you're sharing with somebody outside of the company. And you can see here that, in fact, when I remove that document, that, that tip is taken away. And so you see all of this integration that we've done here to where we guide the user to classify the data. We can auto-classify that data. Those rights that are stored in the file, that, so that file becomes self-protecting. And then in the case where you try to go share this with people outside of the organization, again, we're guiding the user to take care of the company assets. Very unique capabilities to this combination of enterprise mobility and security and Office 365.